Today's Heritage Day. What have you got to say about heritage, about identity, about us being out here and doing the things we wanted to? Well, I think uh, pertaining to your question of identity, like I said in the end, identity is something much deeper than where do you come from, you know, um, what culture do you, what language do you speak. Identity is your sense of purpose. It's, it's who you actually are and the question is, why am I here and what am I here to do? And when you answer that question, you know exactly what you're about. Um, and as I also said, it's about that will allow you to tap into the element that is wholly human because that is your treasure. Uh, what I want to say about the, to the youth of, of South Africa and Africa as a whole, you are in fact the treasure. It's within you. It's not something outside of you. It's not something that you have to grab. It's not something that somebody's going give to give to you. It's within you and you have got to discover what that is. And once you discover that treasure, you need to use it to encourage and empower others. Essential. That's my message. It reminds me of something I read in a book called The Alchemist by one of my favorite oh, authors. wonderful book. Yeah, Paolo Coelho. He says that a man's only obligation is to discover his destiny. So like, it is about knowing who you are and being who you are, not allowing external factors and other people to define who you are. Because exactly. if you're not clear about who you are, other people will define who you become, yeah? Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and absolutely, and it, and it does begin and end with you. Yeah. So once you awaken to everything about yourself, nothing can rock you, nothing. Yeah. Because you can have all sorts of things thrown at you, but because you're clear about what you're about, then you can achieve, I mean, literally achieve anything, like literally anything you want. There's uh, South Africans here and there's South Africans at home. I will urge you to, to really, really not lose sight of the fact that it is most likely that your mission and purpose is back home. It's back on that continent. And what we've got to try and do, what I would like to ask um, African youth, it's my personal request, that what you do is instead of taking um, value structures from the West yeah. and trying to impose them on Africa, try and find the African voice and then make that accessible to the world. Wow. You know, do it yeah. the other way around. Yeah. Because like I said, and the reason I'm saying it is because I've walked it. You know, this thing of trying to fit. And I always say it's like trying to fit into a shoe that is just too small. And I'm like, I, yeah. why don't I feel good? Yeah. You know, it doesn't yeah. fit right. Yeah. And, yet, and, then, and then I look at people who come from here and how the world is their oyster because basically they, they've already gone over that hurdle yeah. of not feeling that they don't exist, that they, that they shouldn't be here. Yeah. So that is my request to you guys. Please do that we and will. turn it around. Make, make the world accessible to you, not the other way around. Yeah. Pamela Nombeta, thank you thank very you much. Very much.